In this case, we're exploiting XXE to perform SSRF attacks. And this is something that's pretty realistic. If you find XXE in the wild, sometimes you're going through local files and you're not finding a lot. But if the application is hosted on cloud infrastructure, you might be able to leverage this XXE to declare an external entity that forces the application to send a request to the metadata service. And so let's go ahead and dive into this here. So if we click on view details and check stock, we'll see we have another post request that contains this XML. So from here, we can go ahead and declare another entity. So doc type. Okay, so you can see here we declare an external entity test that when referenced returns Etsy password. Let's see if we could reference it in the product ID and return the contents of Etsy password. In this case, we do. So let's say we peruse the file system and we're not seeing a lot, but we wanna see if we're actually within any type of cloud architecture. Can this application server interact with any type of cloud services? So let's go ahead and change this file instead to HTTP, colon forward slash forward slash. So in this case, instead of referencing a local file, we're gonna see if we could send a request to the metadata API, which is 169.254 repeating. Okay, so we sent this request to this metadata API and we're getting latest in the response. So what we could do is we can go down this resource path, latest, and follow that. That should give us metadata. And then I believe security credentials or IAM, let's see. IAM, yep. And then security credentials most likely. And then the username of the credentials and check this out, we have AWS creds. So an AWS access key and secret key. And with these keys in hand, we can send requests to the AWS API as the IAM role admin, which could possibly give us a foothold into their entire cloud infrastructure. So the important takeaway here is what can you do with XXE? And that's perform SSRF attacks and also access local files. And this SSRF doesn't have to just be HTTP. It could be other protocols as well too. So that's important to keep in mind. Well, that's all I got for this video. If you want any more from me, you can check me out on twitch.tv forward slash gar underscore seven. Every Monday and Thursday, I do educational live streams and giveaways, so I'd love to see you there. If you learned something from this video, or if you have any feedback at all, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. But other than that, hope to see you next time. Thanks again.